Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing yet another Monster High review because I've had this two-pack just kind of laying here for a while. It got very delayed, first by my vampire heart Draculaura being crushed, then by her review, then by Frankie getting revealed. Basically, a lot of things have been delaying this review, but nothing is delaying it today, so we're gonna do it. Let's get let's get going, I guess. So this is the Fabulous F F Fabulous Fabulous Pets two-pack of Draculaura and Claudine. So, honestly, I think my new Draculaura is still kind of wonky, but I'm just ignoring it at this point because, uh, literally none of the Claudines or Draculauras in my area look good. Claudine, uh, they don't look great, but if it bugs me too much, I might just, what would I be able to do? I don't know, but we're just gonna, like, say, uh, fuck it, we ball and unbox the dolls, so get right into it. So the box is super cute. I like the display they have going on, like with the pets down here at the table. I like their bags. They kind of remind me of those lounge fly bags, like with the, you know, do you understand what I mean? And of course we have the artwork right here. I'm not sure if this is Darko's or not. Like it looks like his style, but I feel like it's something about it looks different. I don't know. He didn't post this on his account either. Is there like another artist working for Monster High? Here is their barcode. And here's the back of the box, which I feel like just kind of further confirms that this doesn't look like Darko's art style. Here, I've got uh, Skultimate Secrets Torolai here. And Darko puts a lot of sparkles on the artwork. Um, like you can see it on Torolai's sleeves. You can see it in her hair. He put like some sparkles there. I don't really see those sparkles here. I don't know, this just feels like a secondary art style almost. It kind of looks like his style, but not as much as usual. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy and this is just his art and I'm just being insane. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So this is what the description says. It says, Dracula and Claudine Wolf are ready to crawl the mall for looking. Crawl the mall looking for matching looks for themselves and their pets. Count Fabulous and Crescent with Fabulous outfits and yummy treats to share this boo crew is having a totally fantastic day and of course it's also written in other languages so nothing more to say let's just rip this to shreds because i want to look at the dolls up close and personal without a layer of plastic between them so she's actually fine and not wonky at all i didn't expect that uh this thing isn't attached to her head though i'm gonna have to make it look better so I got both dolls to stand on their own. Pretty nice. By the way, this is a Polly Claudine. She does not have Saran. Somebody told me that they thought she did, but she does not. That is most definitely Polly. It's a mess. God, she's wonky. <laughs> this does not want to come out. Is Claudine drinking poison? All right, now we just have to get this out. I hope it doesn't give me a headache. Oh no, this will be pretty easy actually. So the cool thing about this is that there's just this little like plastic back here and when you remove that basically everything just falls out except for the table you have to like give that a little oomph or not i think i just have to pull on it yeah and there we go see everything just kind of like fell right out much easier than that damn cherry juice holy shit that's like the third time i've struggled to remove draculaura's fucking cherry juice from a piece of plastic like that so here's everything put back together outside of the box. Uh, let's just take a look at Crescent and uh, Count Fabulous real quick. So Crescent is wearing this cute little fur thingy similar to Claudine. So they're matching, very cute. And it is removable. There's a piece of Velcro back here that you can undo. Like I'm sticking my nail in there right now, but I'm not gonna undo it just because I feel like I'm not gonna be able to get it back on correctly. It's the same with Count Fabulous. Um, this seems to be the same material as Draculaura's skirt. So, yeah, once again, there is a piece of Velcro right here that you can undo to take it off, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. They also come with these two little coffee cups that are kind of poorly painted low-key, but uh, yeah, that's all there is to the pets. These two, on the other hand, have a lot more going on. Both dolls feature a chest joint and actually stood up fairly easily. Um, I'm gonna try not to move them from these positions just because I don't want them to fall over, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how easily they balanced. It's a good, that's a very important thing for a G3 doll to be able to do because they don't come with stands. So Draculaura is super cute. She doesn't come with any earrings on this doll, but she does have this headband that has a sort of almost bat wing shaped bow. It's not like blatant, but it kind of looks like a bat, bat's wings in a way. 
At least I think it does. I got one with the best bangs I could as well as the best face that I could. She's got some darker makeup going on. Not like that dark, but her eyeshadow is a bit darker than usual. She's got some black mixed with a light pink, and I like this lip color. It's a very cute sort of darkish magenta. I like it. It's nice. Her shirt is a bit interesting. It's kind of got bat wings under the arms. When she puts her arm out, you can kind of see the bat wings underneath the uh, shirt, as I mentioned. The shirt is like sort of this darkish purple, the same color as Count Fabulous and Ombres into this pink and is covered in hearts all over. And of course, she's got her heart with bat wings and fangs on the middle of her shirt. It's a very cute piece, very customly made for her. This is the kind of stuff I missed out of Monster High. Clothes that doesn't at all look like something you'd find in the store ever. I, I just always thought that was something fun Monster High would do in G1. Her skirt is cute, bit basic, not much to it, but it's nice enough. And her shoes are a very nice sculpt, but I hate that they're a solid color. I would have really liked to see this sculpt be utilized. I'm pretty sure it's the same sculpt as like, it looks like sneakers, right? I think this is her ghoul spirit shoes. Of course, she also has this Count Fabulous face bag. Very cute, not much to it. It's just like a little purse. As for Claudine, she does have earrings. She's got this two-piece one that sort of hooks around. It looks like it's going in through the middle of her ear, which I don't think it's supposed to do. But then she's also got this double moon uh, stud. Her face looks pretty familiar. Um, I think this is like a very similar eye makeup look to her basic doll with the blue eyeshadow and the purple around it. But she's also got this like purple thing over her eye, similar to what uh, Crescent has over her eye. His eye? Is Crescent a boy or a girl? She's wearing her gold moon necklace. She has the same blue fur as uh, Crescent. And I really like her sort of sporty look here. It's very cute. It looks like a sort of like cropped jumpsuit in a way. Like this looks like shorts, like exercise shorts. Am I good with words? No. And of course she has the jelly shoes, which I hate. I don't like jelly shoes. If these were like a solid color, like dark purple, I would have liked them. I don't like them in a, like a semi-transparent color like this. She also has her Count F Crescent, her Crescent backpack. It's very cute. I like it. I think it opens at the top, but I'm not gonna bother. I don't really care. All in all, I don't feel like there's much to go over with these dolls. They're very well made and I like them a lot, but I don't think I have anything more to say about either one of them. With Draculaura, I'm definitely gonna need to fix her hair. It's a huge mess from the way the bow was being pulled around on her head, so that's one downside to her. As for Claudine, her downside is having Polly. That's it. Draculaura has Saran. Uh, you don't have to worry about her. But, um... Yeah, definitely a bummer that Claudine has Polly on this doll, especially since they'd been doing so well with giving her Saran. Like, there was this creepover party uh, two-pack, she had Saran there. There's her, like, core doll that had Saran. They, like, released a new version of it with Saran. And now there's the core refresh one that also has Saran. Like, they've just been doing really good with it, even Scared Ice Island. That's, like, four Saran Claudines. They even reissued Budget Claudine in, like, a three-pack at Kohl's that has Saran now. So it's just a bummer that this one doesn't, but um, yeah, overall, very pretty doll. Again, I really like the sporty style. I feel like they actually did a good job making her stylish on this release. And Draculaura is a lot of fun, just a very pretty base doll with a fun outfit. It's eccentric and I like it. So yeah, overall, I'd probably give this pack maybe like a 9 out of 10. I feel like the shoes really take away from it and Claudine's poly hairs, but everything else I really like. Uh, this is cute too. I'm never gonna do anything with it, but it's cute. I guess another hope for this pack would have been that they had more accessories, like Draculaura would look cute with a necklace, maybe a bracelet, maybe some leggings. I feel like some fishnets would have looked nice on her. Um, yeah, I don't have too many complaints. Overall, I'm happy with this set. I actually got it alongside my um, Skultimate Secret Schoolia for like 60 bucks from Target. So technically I paid a lower price on this or on Ghoulia. I don't know if I split it between them, like I could say I got Ghoulia for 15, which means that I got this for 45 or I could say I got this for 40 and Ghoulia for 20. I, I don't know how to divide it, but I got this for cheaper than it should have been, which was nice. So yeah, all in all, a very nice set. If you're on the fence about it, I'd say wait for a sale. But otherwise, if you just kind of want to dive right into it, uh, 
go for it. It's a very nice two pack and I like it a lot. So I guess I'm gonna call it there. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this review and I hope to see you in my next video. Also, update on Vampire Heart Dracula. Would you believe they told me that crushed packaging is not a defect? On a $100 doll. They don't consider that to be a defect. <sighs> I guess I gotta tell them about the shoe because her shoe is missing a bat. But yeah, uh, that's it for this. So uh, yeah, bye.